Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, federal court grants Spirit Airlines temporary restraining order. Citation Jet Pilots Association announces 2017 Hoover Scholarship recipients. Senate confirms Wilson as Air Force Secretary. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's May 12th and this is Airborne Unlimited. The U.S. District Court has granted a motion brought by Spirit Airlines for a temporary restraining order and ordered motion for a hearing for a preliminary injunction. The action was brought against ALPA, the ALPA Master Executive Council of Spirit Pilots, and individual officers, members, and committee members of the MEC. Spirit claims to have commenced this action in order to protect its customers from further disruption due to what they term to be an unlawful job action by Spirit Pilots. The federal court granted the company's TRO motions after Spirit alleged ALPA and the other named defendants were purposely and unlawfully disrupting the airline's operations, leading to hundreds of canceled flights, which negatively impacted thousands of Spirit customers' travel plans. Since last Thursday, the pilot actions have affected approximately 15% of flights across the network. The federal court hearing for the PI is scheduled for May 15, 2017. We sincerely apologize to our customers for the disruption and inconveniences they have suffered. We believe this is the result of intimidation tactics by a limited number of our pilots affecting the behavior of a larger group. We are also shocked and saddened by the events that took place yesterday at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport and at other airports across our network," said Paul Barry, Spirit Airlines spokesman. The Citation Jet Pilots Owner Pilot Association has announced the four recipients of the 2017 Bob Hoover Presidential Scholarships, presented in partnership between CJP and the Bob Hoover Legacy Foundation. In addition to receiving $25,000 each for continuing their aviation-related studies at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University on campuses in Prescott, Arizona and Daytona, Florida, these exceptional students will also be introduced to a variety of important networking and mentoring opportunities through CJP to help guide them along their future career paths. This year's scholarship recipients are Andros Logman and Nika, a freshman at ERAU Prescott, Brooke Harrington, a junior at ERAU Daytona Beach, Kimberly Rangel Martinez, a senior at ERAU Daytona Beach, and Dylan Smith, a sophomore at ERAU Prescott. Nine students have received Bob Hoover Presidential Scholarship since the program was established in 2013. Through partnership between CJP and the Bob Hoover Legacy Foundation, each organization provides $50,000 in support of two scholarships apiece. Perhaps even more so than his fan reputation as a highly acclaimed pilot, Bob Hoover's legacy is that of service to our industry and support for its future generations. CJP Director and Scholarship Program co-founder Tracy Forrest concluded. After the break, there's a new boss of the nation's Air Force. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Taros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at SonicsAerospace.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, the new AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Heather Wilson will be the next Secretary of the Air Force, following her confirmation by the Senate May 8, 2017. Wilson is expected to be sworn in within a week. Wilson graduated from the U.S. Air Force Academy in the third class to include women. 
After graduating from USAFA in 1982, she earned a master's and doctoral degrees as a Rhodes Scholar at Oxford University in England. She served as an Air Force officer in Europe during the Cold War and on the National Security Council staff under President George H.W. Bush during the fall of the Berlin Wall and the collapse of the Warsaw Pact. She has also worked as an advisor to several large defense and scientific organizations, both before and after serving for a decade in the U.S. Congress. The daughter and granddaughter of aviators, Wilson is an instrument-rated private pilot. Wilson becomes the second confirmed appointee in the Defense Department and will be responsible for organizing training and equipping the U.S. Air Force of 660,000 active duty guard, reserve and civilian airmen, as well as managing its $132 billion budget. After these messages, JetSuite X gives generously. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Progressive Aerodyne C-Ray Adventure offers Rotax 912 power, a basic instrument panel, and radios. Fly it away for under $120,000. Visit C-Ray.com for more details. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. JetSuite X announced that it is commemorating its first year of public charter service by donating $25,000 worth of JetSuite X seats to Angel Flight West to help provide air travel to individuals with serious medical conditions. The donation translates to transportation for 100 patients in North California, South California, and Nevada to their treatments at some of the nation's best medical facilities aboard JetSuite X. Aerojet Rocketdyne successfully completed its critical design review for AR-1, a 500,000-pound force thrust-class liquid-fueled rocket engine. The milestone keeps the AR-1 on track for certification for flight in 2019 as a replacement for the Russian RD-180 engine that is used today to launch most U.S. national security payloads. Boeing and the U.S. Air Force recently demonstrated that multiple aircraft and ground stations can efficiently and securely communicate using the Boeing-developed Talon HATE Airborne Networking System. During flight testing at Nellis AFB, Talon HTE pods on two F-15C aircraft enabled test pilots to share information through the military's Link-16, Common Data Link, and Wideband Global SATCOM satellites. Air Wisconsin Airlines has announced significant enhancements to its existing bonus program, increasing the value of cash bonuses to $57,000, including $8,000 for pilots type rated in a turbine aircraft. During the first three years of employment, a new pilot will receive between $260,000 and $317,000 in total pay and elected benefits. Expanding its FBO network, Hawthorne Global Aviation Services has acquired Jetson Aviation Center, a Sioux City, Iowa FBO at Sioux Gateway Airport. The Sioux City FBO has more than 100,000 square feet of hangar space, a robust Part 145 repair station, extensive avionics capabilities, a large reception area, conference room, pilot's lounge, and flight planning. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. Airbus has launched its U.S. base in operations of a new commercial drone startup named Airbus Aerial at the AUVSI Exponential Trade Show and Conference in Dallas. With bases both in the U.S. and in Europe, Airbus Aerial's initial business will focus on developing new imagery services. 
These services will leverage the best software and aerospace technology from across the globe to offer actionable data and analysis of information provided by drones, satellites, high-altitude aircraft, and other sources. The U.S.-based part of Airbus Aerial will be headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia, and is led by Jesse Coleman, a UAS industry expert with more than 12 years of experience, including research at Georgia Tech, federal policy at the FAA, commercial UAS at Airware, and advocacy with groups like AUVSI. Airbus Aerial Imagery Services targets a range of applications for commercial industries, such as insurance, agriculture, oil and gas, and utilities, as well as state and local governments. Recruitment for positions in software development, data analytics, and drone operations, among other roles, has begun. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Have a great weekend. See you Monday.